Hey everyone, welcome to Studio SNC. Let's get started today lying down. So make your way down onto your mat. Um, we're gonna start off with the ankles crossed and the knees wide. So your knees towards your shoulders and your ankles crossed. Hands are gonna, we're gonna place them on our knees with the thumbs on the inside, little fingers on the outside and spread through those fingers. Get a good grip of those knees. Moving in a circular direction, you're going to send your weight to your right hip, your right shoulder, your face, your left shoulder, and your left hip. Doing this again slowly. So your right shoulder, or your right hip, no, start again. <clears throat> Hey everyone, welcome to Studio SNC. Let's get started today lying down. So make your way down onto your mat. Um, cross the ankles with your right ankle over your left, holding onto your knees, the thumbs on the inside and the little fingers on the outside, spreading the rest of the fingers. From here, pull your knees towards your shoulders and then push them away, extending the arms to straighten. Pull the knees in again, feel a gentle stretch in the back or maybe a deep stretch and then pushing them away again, arms extending out. Feel that pull in the upper back and the shoulders. Two more just like this. Pull the knees in and extend out the arms one last time. Pull those knees in and extend the arms out. From here, press the shoulder blades into the floor, tuck the chin in and engage your tummy muscles. We're gonna send this structure towards your right hip your right shoulder, your face, your left shoulder, your left hip. Do it again, back to the center, right hip, right shoulder, face, left shoulder, left hip. Try and get a bit of a reverse curl involved where you're peeling the lower back or the tail up off the floor, feeling those lower tummy muscles starting to work. Three more like this, using your hands, massaging the top of your bum, your spine, and the sides. Last one here. Now come back through the center. Uncross, left ankle over the right. Keep those knees wide and then direct the body weight towards your left shoulder, your left hip, your left shoulder, your face, your right shoulder, your right hip. Same thing, just moving. Anti-clockwise. And then see if you can lift the tail on up as well feeling those lower tummy muscles working. Engaging your core, keep the neck long, working through the arms and a bit of pressure on those knees. Like you're supporting your knees with your claws or your hands and your fingers. Last three here. Warming up through the base, the sacrum of the spine. Two more. And then last one. From here, we're gonna widen those heels out. So as wide as your hips, sweep the hands to the back of the head and push away like a frog or breaststroke kick. Legs join together, bend the knees into the chest, widen them out and extend out again. As you bend the knees in, see if you can lift the tailbone up, even if it's just for a half a second. Extend out, making big circles with your feet, with your heels, breathing in, and then pushing away. It's kind of the same movement as double leg stretch, getting those knees involved, pushing away with the heels, giving some of the weight of the head to the hands, Push away nice and strong, last two here. Lift up and push away. And one last time, peel and push away. Widen the feet, knees come to the floor. Arms down by your side for shoulder bridge. So we're gonna press that lower back into the mat, tuck the chin in. Press into the arms, feel the strength in those arms as you peel the spine up, coming up into the onto the shoulder blades. Take a breath in here and on your exhale, lift that right heel up off the floor and then lift the left heel up off the floor. 
Feel the tension in the calves as you do this. Push into the toes. Lift the hips a little higher and adjust the head if you need to from here. Breathe in through the nose, squeeze through the glutes. Exhale it out. Inhale, lift a little higher. Exhale, tap the bum to the floor, stay up on those toes, and then lift straight up again. So you're only tapping, light touch on the floor, and then lift straight back up again, squeeze through the glutes. Notice if your knees are falling out or in. You wanna keep them strong. Kneecaps like headlights up towards the ceiling. No waver in that light, straight. And tap the floor with the hips. Three to go, lift up, squeeze through the glutes. Tap the bum. Last two, lift and squeeze. And tap the bum. One last time, lift up, squeeze. Sink the heels to the floor before we lay the spine down onto the mat, vertebrae by vertebrae. Relax the hips into their natural shape and extend the legs out straight on the mat. So we're gonna reach the arms up towards the ceiling here. Feet in Pilates V or just join the legs together. Breathe in. On your exhale, bring it all the way up into a seated position. Okay, arms extended out in front, palms in towards each other. We're gonna flip those palms as we lower back down on the inhale. Flip the palms in as we bring it straight back up again. Palms up as we lower it back down on the inhale. Palms in as we bring it up. <sighs> palms up, chest open as if you're serving a tray to someone very politely. Roll it down. Palms in. Squeeze those thumbs against your four fingers as you bring it up. Flip the palms, tall spine. And then rolling back down straight away. Palms in. So we lift it up. Palms up, roll it down. And palms in. Engage your core. Come up strong, use your breath. Lay the spine down. Flip the palms, peel up, strong anchor with those legs. We've got three more. Roll it down, scooping through the core, palms in. Anchor with those legs. Last two here, flip the palms. Roll it down, scooping through the core. Flip those palms in, bring it straight back up again. And one last time. Roll it down, draw the belly button in. Flip those palms and bring it all the way up into a seated position. Inhale, reach towards your feet, tuck the chin. Exhale, roll all the way to the mat. Breathe in, reach the palms up again, just in line with the shoulders. Exhale, bring yourself all the way up again. Breathe in, look up, reach up, circle the arms around, plant the hands on the floor. We lift those hips up, squeeze through the glutes, and then lower the hips to the floor. Breathe in, reach towards your feet, tuck the chin. Exhale, create heat in the body as you roll down to the floor. Breathe in, arms just in line with your shoulders, so no overhead here. Exhale, we bring it all the way up, and we look up, reach up, find length, circle around, plant the hands on the floor. Breathe in, lift those hips, squeeze through the glutes. Strong body, strong legs. Breathe in, reach towards your feet, pull the shoulders back. Exhale, roll down to the floor, squeeze those legs tightly together. Palms in towards each other over your shoulders. Exhale, use the breath. Look up, reach up, circle it around, plant the hands on the floor. Lift those hips into a front plank, squeeze through the glutes, look down the center and then lower the hips down. Breathe in, reach towards your feet. Exhale, roll it down to the mat, lay it down. Palms in. Exhale, bring yourself up again. Inhale, look up, reach up. Circle round and plant the hands on the floor. Lift those hips up, squeeze through the glutes, look down the center. Lower the hips down with control. Reach forward again for two more. Exhale, roll down to that mat. Legs anchoring you to the floor. Breathe in, breathe out, bring it up. Inhale, look up, reach up, circle, full circle, hands to the floor. Lift the hips up, squeeze. And lower those hips down one last time. Breathe in, reach forward. Exhale, roll down to the floor. Breathe in, hands or wrists over your shoulders. Exhale, breathe in, look up, reach up. Circle around and then lift those hips for the last time and then lower the hips to the floor. From here, we're gonna place our hands behind our hips and then lower down onto the forearms and the elbows. 
Now try and get your elbows in line with your shoulders and bend the knees so your feet or your toes are even on the floor. We're gonna lift the legs up, flex through those feet, circle the ankles here, get rid of any clicks, do it fast, squeeze, separate through the toes, change direction. And then from here, two legs join together, working as a team, we exhale, extend the legs out, bend those knees in, all the way in towards your chin or your belly, or even your chest, extend out, bend in, extend out. So you're working your tummy muscles here. Now we're gonna step it up. One last time like this, extend and bend in. Now push into those hands, lift the elbows up, widen those hands if you need to, bend the knees in, extend the legs, bend the elbows, bring it in. You're dropping down onto your lower back and maybe tapping part of the forearm on the floor using your core strength. Extend for five, bend, extend for four. Push into those hands, extend, and come up strong, two to go, extend. Come up strong one last time, extend. Come up strong. Okay, extend those legs out now in front. Place your hands in to the backs of the knees if you can reach that, or backs of the thighs maybe if you can't. And then pull the upper body in between the legs and then walk the hands higher. Maybe you get your feet, maybe you get a toe. Just work with what you have. And pull the upper body in between those legs. Push away with the heels, drop the head down. And then just move the head from side to side or chin from right shoulder to left shoulder. Pulling with those hands, putting a bit of pressure on the hip joints. Feeling a deep stretch in the hamstrings, the head heavy. One last breath here. Lift up through the upper body, press the fingertips into the floor out in front of the chest. Inhale, just push into those fingertips and sit as tall as you possibly can. Melt the backs of the knees into the floor, brace through those tummy muscles and then squeeze the shoulder blades together, pushing your chest ahead of your hip bones. Breathe into this position. Exhale it out. Inhale, we reach up with the right arm. Tap the floor behind you and then reach up and circle it back to the start. Inhale, left arm reaches up, circle it, tap the floor behind and then circle all the way back to the start. Maintain that long straight spine throughout. And if your hamstrings are screaming, you bend the knees. It's more important to have a straight long spine and then train the hamstrings, then to have poker straight legs and a hunchback or a rounded mid spine. Reach up, circle, tap, and then circle forward. Opening up to tap behind, feeling the strength in the shoulders, the neck, the upper body, and then bring it all the way out in front. One last set. Notice if you've gotten lazy in the shoulders, and breathe in, tap out in front. From here, place your hands behind your hips, squeeze the shoulder blades together, giving yourself a little break here, bounce from right hand or right palm to left palm. And then flip over onto your belly straight away. We're gonna place the hands at the lower part of our back for a double leg kick. So hands finding each other. Allow the forehead meet the mat, two legs join like a tail. We lift the forehead up, kick twice. Stretch the legs out on the exhale. Now, turn your head to the right, rest the left ear on the floor, kick twice. And then exhale, look down as you extend. Head to the left, right ear on the floor, kick, kick. Exhale, lift, look down. Head turning right. And then look down. Turning to the left, elbows bent. Extend, squeeze through those shoulder blades. To the right, kick, kick. And extend, looking towards the floor. Kick, kick. Working on your coordination. By adding that turn of the head to the side, you're working on your coordination, but you're also giving your neck a break. Adding that gentle stretch to the neck. Looking down. Last two sets here. Stretch everything out. Kick, kick. Peel, squeeze the shoulder blades together. One last set, kick, kick, kick. Stretch it out. And then last time, kick, kick. Stretch it out. From here, hands find the floor underneath the shoulders. Gentle wag of your tail from side to side. Take a breath in, tuck the toes. Exhale, we lift up and reach the hips back. Breathe in. 
Exhale, tip forward into a half plank. Lift the knees up into a full plank. Hold for a breath here, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Inhale, drop the knees, bend the elbows, lower the chest to the floor. Untuck the toes and peel the chest up as you bend a right knee. Right toes up towards the ceiling. Lower it down, left knee bends. And we lift the chin as well, look forward. Look down as you lower. Look forward as you peel up elbows being drawn towards the hips. And then lower down, breathe in. And breathe out, release. Inhale, lift. Try not to use your hands as much as your upper back strength as we peel up. We're gonna do one more set, lower the chest. Right knee bends, peel up. And then lower it down, left knee bends. Peel the chest up. And lower it down, tuck the toes under, breath in here. Exhale, push yourself up, reach those hips back. Take a breath here. Exhale, tip into your half plank. Jump up into your full plank. Take a breath here, in through the nose. Out through the mouth, swivel on the feet, send the outer edge of the left foot to the floor, seal your right foot to the floor, and then circle that right arm around for one, follow the arm for two, and then three. Plant the right hand down on the floor, switch sides, outer edge of the right foot, seal the left foot to the floor, reach up with that left arm and circle back for three, for two, and for one. Find that full plank position and lower the knees down. Hold here for a breath, tuck the tail, breathe in through the nose. As you exhale, elbows going towards your shoulders, no, elbows going towards your rib cage, your hips lower, to the lower your chest to the floor. From here we bend the two knees and peel the chest up. But again, you can alternate if you feel it's too much. And then extend, look down. Bend the two knees, lift up, extension, drop those elbows towards your hips, and then lower it down. Breathing in, peel up, and then lower it down. Three to go. Breathe in, peel, and lower it down. Two more. Breathe in, peel up, squeezing the shoulder blades together, and lower it down. This time, hold the position. Peel up for the last time. Reach back, see if you can take hold of your feet, and if you can't, use your socks, or just reach back. Kick into your hands, lift the chest, squeeze the shoulder blades, look down towards the floor, move your head, side to side, loosening through that neck, keep kicking, keep pulling, and then release everything. From here, hands in underneath the shoulders, take a breath in, exhale, push yourself up, and then sit back onto your bum. Crossing the ankles, doesn't matter which way, hands to the knees, gently rock onto your back and gently rock from side to side. Allowing the head to relax, softening the eyes, eyelids or closing the eyes over. Allow your body to find a shape here. Again, doesn't matter what it is. Flip the palms to open through the chest if that feels good or rest on your side if that feels better. Take these couple of minutes to be here with your breath, with your body. Send your breath low, past the collarbone, past the rib cage. Feel the belly, notice the belly, breathe into the belly. Allowing yourself to let go on every level to sink and surrender into your mass. Mind, body, breath, release. Let go a little more.
And we're sending some movement to the body, movements from the fingers, moving from the toes, maybe from the neck. Sliding your feet in one at a time, drawing your knees into your chest, into your belly. Placing the hands, the backs of the legs or the front of the legs, rock from side to side. And then in your own time, make your way up into a seated position. Well done, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you next time.